we have a special presentation today regarding our solar project and some very special people here with us. This is not just all about solar, it's about our strategic map and it's about some things that have been done along the way to get to a point where um, our students have helped to find innovative approaches to tackling complex challenges and you'll hear a little bit about that today. Tony Abbott is a professor of environmental science and studies. The solar array kind of came out of the idea of the environmental green fund that was hatched in my office five years ago with a student, Sarah Coffey, who has since graduated. And the reason that's important to mention is that this is a very long-term type of project. This didn't just come out of a student's head and then, you know, happen. They ground away at it, and it took a long time, and it took resources, and that wouldn't have happened if they had just been doing it as volunteers on the side. The Environmental Fellowship is really what made this project possible. Now, what is the Environmental Fellowship? The Environmental Fellowship is a set of scholarships that are given to poor students in a tiered way, senior, junior, sophomore, first year, right? And so the older ones can teach the younger ones, and they can still leadership as well as organizational, as well as creativity um, practices amongst themselves. And the Environmental Working Group was established about four years ago as a consortium of stakeholders from all across campus that includes students, faculty, um, various staff in departments representing uh, most of the campus administrative units, and of course the administration. And we chew on a number of environmental initiatives that are coming to us from different groups across campus. We, we serve as the clearinghouse for vetting these ideas, figuring out how to fund them, figuring out what strings need to be pulled here and there to just make something that should be really simple you know, happen. Um, even the things that are really complex, you know, it's just getting the right people talking to each other um, to actually see these things through. And it is time to pass the baton to the millennials and the Gen Zs. There's a part of me that just wants to say, get out of the way and let them do it. I mean, just give them all the resources they need and just go for it because they're brilliant and they're ready to do it. So, go for it. <laughs> um, we have a value of environmental responsibility at this university. And one of the most pressing environmental challenges that we're facing right now is climate change. And so the way to attack that problem is to make a more sustainable civilization starting right here with this university. So that's where the idea of a revolving green fund kind of got started. And a revolving green fund is a fund which is made of a sum of money that is continually put into a fund each year. And it is invested in sustainable projects so that the payoff from those projects, for example, the money saved from solar panels, will be reinvested back into the fund, so it's an ever-growing fund of money. And so my addition to this was to see if the student body would be interested in trying to fund a green fund. So I basically created a survey that I sent out to a lot of the students on campus, asking how much each student would be comfortable from their tuition to put towards a green fund. So it ended up that, um, I, I did a survey and it was $10 a student a semester and that was accepted but the SGA um, wanted to do another survey and put that down to $5 a semester so that we can do sustainability at this university essentially for the price of a cup of coffee. One of the main aspects of this is that it's supposed to be student funded and student owned and student decided. So Jimmy, you want to talk about that? Absolutely. So I was a freshman back when this motion hit the floor, when this resolution hit the floor, and I had never met Nate before, and I wasn't really familiar with the environmental working group, but sustainability was something I was, you know, um, interested in from, from an arm's length. I never really worked on it. But they were looking for a student to kind of take a seat on this environmental working group. So this partnership began, and over the next year, working with Nate, as well as Wendy Anderson, Bob Puth, and the entire environmental working group, we were able to pass some additional legislation from within the Student Government Association that supported this Green Fund. Uh, this also included a survey that went out to the entire student body asking for suggestions and that's when we saw by and large that solar energy was the, the project that the student body was most interested in. About, uh, I guess it was 14 months ago, uh, Al Allen asked me to take on the uh, task of getting a solar system installed here. Uh, this is the essentially over the kitchen. Uh, there's 231 panels installed. 
the system will put out about 80 amps at uh, 40 volts, three phase, uh, at peak output in the summertime. The expectation is that this will produce between nine and ten thousand uh, dollars of uh, production or cost. Same thing as cost avoidance per year. And the uh, financing of this uh, came from two years' worth of the green fund. That was about sixty thousand dollars, and a contribution from SGA, which was another thirty thousand dollars, and the university contributed thirty thousand dollars for a mass of one hundred twenty thousand dollars for a project that cost about one hundred seventy thousand dollars. Production of this is going to go back and amortize the $50,000, and then after that we'll start going back to the Green Fund. The culmination of having engagement with faculty, staff, and students to solve complex problems. <laughs>